Well, good morning, YouTube. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Um, hit me up today. Uh, got up early this morning. Late, actually. I'm supposed to be on the road by about 3, 3.30 a.m. I am driving to Vegas to go pick up one of my friends. In fact, my best friend in the whole world. Um, Matt went out there to apply for some jobs. And, uh, man, found a gig just like that. So, brought some resumes uh, to go pick up my buddy. He's stranded out there until Tuesday, and he's already found a gig, so he really needs to get home. I believe Delta said something to the effect of, you're going to have to wait until Tuesday unless you want to pay $150. Ugh. It's cheaper for him to buy a ticket, one-way ticket, mind you, all the way back to Memphis, and then he can drive up from Memphis to, to Jonesboro, which is about 40 minutes, uh, 30 for him. So, um, but... He's supposed to leave Tuesday night, 11.50 a.m. Uh, lay over in Minneapolis for four and a half hours. And then he'll touch down in Memphis at about 10.15 a.m. on Wednesday morning. So, um, rather than put him through all that, it's Thursday morning. I'll drive out there and go grab him. Of course, I brought yay Porsche. Um, because, why not? So, I figured this would be a good test for it. Um, I mean, I'm, I might even drive her through Death Valley. What? So, um, yeah, kind of excited uh, to take uh, the car out and uh, road trip it a little bit, see what she does, uh, how she responds uh, to this. Um, getting damn good fuel mileage, and I'm just chilling. People are passing me, I'm doing 65 miles an hour on the interstate. So, trying to get a speeding ticket or stress the car or any point. I know I drive it like freaking middle-aged doctor, but it's got 112,000 miles on it now. Many of those miles are unaccounted for. Um, so it has to be easy on it. I mean, I've cleaned the engine up well. Um, I've cleaned the fuel system up really well. I keep adding Lucas treatment to it. It's cheaper than the sea foam and it's, it's really just about as good. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to uh, get this thing over with because this is apparently 19 hours and 30 minutes to get there from my house. Um, and I could be trying to set speed records right now, but I don't know. Why waste the fuel? Why burn the oil? Keep it at 65, out of sport mode. You don't have to worry about burning a bunch of oil. Put sport mode on in this thing. Oh, it's gonna burn a ton of oil. I mean, about every 500 miles, you'd be going through about a quart. Um, it may be, may not be that much, but it's just pretty close. About 750 to a thousand. Um, if you just keep it in sport mode, just keep going. Match the gas. Highway doesn't matter. It really hates highway in sport mode uh, as far as oil consumption goes. I did a trip to uh, Texas and back, which is about I don't know nine ten hours. Um, both ways and uh, I kept it in sport mode because I was having to pull a lot of hills and I, you know, I just liked it having a little bit more power going up and such so um, but man by the time I got done with that trip which was literally about 500 miles I'd gone through a court um, now I did 75 miles an hour to 80 miles an hour the whole way down there um, and most of the way back so it, it was really not a surprise when I got home and started up the car the next day and the uh, oil level red one core low. I was like, damn, because I had just changed it before I took the road trip too. I mean, I just changed it for the second time. Um, so, but uh, yeah, my buddy wants to check out the Porsche. I need him to fix my computer because I I think some software issues, but um, and I'm going to apply for some jobs out there in Vegas. So if you know of anybody that's out there in Vegas hiring, uh, looking for a good service advisor, somebody who uh, knows what it means to be a brand ambassador, if you will, uh, hit me up. Nice classics. Nice classics. Wow. Got a Thunderbird. And I'm not sure what that other one. Oh, that was a Comet. Okay, nice. Got a Thunderbird and a Comet parked right behind one another over here on the interstate. I'm not sure what's going on with them, but I'm sure they carry tools. They're driving classic cars. If they aren't carrying tools to drive classic cars, they silly men or women. My bad. Need to be politically correct. And 
while this trip isn't like the most fun I've ever had with four wheels, because obviously I'm doing 65 miles an hour, um, I am excited because I've never been to Vegas. Um, I've been to Arizona, uh, but I've not, I've not been through New Mexico, so I'm gonna go through there. In fact, talk to a service manager in Albuquerque uh, at a store there. Um, I talked to him uh, yesterday, and he seemed relatively interested in uh, my resume. So we'll see if he's interested in me. Um, I'll just, uh, you know, drop a resume off at his desk uh, here about 5 p.m. this afternoon, and that'll be that. So, but yeah, the car seems to be performing well so long as I keep the Lucas treatment in the fuel. No check engine lights, no issues. So, um, I did find an exhaust on eBay uh, for relatively cheap. Uh, nobody bid on the damn thing, and now I've got some cash, so I kind of wanted to pick that up. i tell you what, it, what he was charging, but it was ridiculously cheap. Um, like, you couldn't go to Paco's Tire and get them to mutilate it for that price, so... Um, I mean, the shipping was more than what he's charging to get the exhaust, so I'd like to do that. Just resale reasons, I mean, nobody really has a taste. One percent of the populace has a taste for that exhaust, straight pipe, for 1,400 miles. I'm not among them. Uh, I would be in like the five percent that would be cool for like four to eight hours in the car with, with that exhaust. As long as it was wrapping out around seven grand, then, then you're talking like that would sound great. Um, but as it stands, not so in love. Uh, probably want to go back with the stock exhaust, even though my buddy's telling me that's ridiculous. Wait till I pick him up. Just wait. When I pick him up and he's got 1,400 miles of this shit under his belt, trust me, he's not going to be loving this anymore. Um, you're going to be like, yeah, you need to do something with that. You think? So, anyway, yeah road trip. I'm in Oklahoma now. Um, I'll probably update again once I hit Arizona because there's really nothing here in Oklahoma except for trees and uh, some slightly windy interstate roads. And by slightly windy, I mean like one degree turn. Uh, so yeah, pretty straightforward flatland excursion. Not my type of hype. I'm all about switchbacks, twisties, and, and running amok. Um, but this car is not a straight line beat them down the road 100 miles an hour in no time kind of car uh, at least not anymore because I drive it um, you should take care of it I mean again it's got 100,000 miles that are unaccounted for uh, do I think that this car has any mechanical flaws that would keep it from making this trip I don't think so look this car over <laughs> at least three dozen times in the last month and a half I've had it so no, I'd like to think that I'm probably going to be safe from any breakdowns or anything. I checked the axles uh, the other day. Um, I mean, I do need to get brakes on it here in the next month or so, but, I mean, that's not pressing. Uh, besides, interstate miles don't need brakes. Um, and they're at about 5 millimeters. They're not due to be replaced tomorrow, but, again, you know, they're going. Um, but everything's good. Not leaking any fluids. Um check to make sure that we weren't uh, missing any oil this morning before we drove off. Lying. Didn't do that. Should have done that. So I'm going to have to wait quite a while. If I pull over, it's going to take 29 effing minutes for it to give me an oil reading. So what I'm going to do at this point is just pray that the oil level was full. It was full like three or four days ago. I haven't put that many miles on it since then. But, you know, these things are weird. And you should always check your oil level, especially before a 1,500 mile, 1,400 mile drive. Um, and that's the service rider in me talking. That's just foolhardy. You should check your oil. Because um, if it's dirty, if it's black, if it's funky, and, and of course you can't really check that on this car, I just have to go by the miles. I did the oil change about 1,750 miles ago. Um, yeah. 1,750 miles ago is when I did the oil change. I left the, I've got the mileage counter up. I just leave the tripometer running and you know, when I hit five grand, whoop, time to go again. Uh, there's no point in waiting a year, 10,000 miles to change the oil on this car. I don't care what it tells you, that's ridiculous. Change the oil. It's a lot cheaper than an engine. Um, speaking of oil, didn't bring any 
thought to do that. Totally missed that because I was in a mad hurry. Dog kept me up all night last night. That's a problem. Don't do that on your trip. Always bring some oil. If you've got a 10 year old car with 100,000 miles on it and you're road tripping it, bring a little oil. That's probably not a bad call. So, but I'll update you guys around Arizona and I'll give you guys some really scenic shots hopefully. Uh, go Hogs. Um, tough one against Missouri State the other day. Damn. Uh, but uh, hard fought. Hard fought. So anyway, these rolling hills are really not doing it for me anymore um, in Oklahoma. So I'm really looking forward to Arizona, seeing how that pops off. Um, because, I, I mean, I've been through Arizona. I, I flew to Flagstaff one time uh, on a business trip, and that was that was interesting. I liked that a lot. Visited the Penske store. Uh, I, Cletus just did a video at that Penske store. Um, I've been there uh, when I worked for Penske. Uh, I got to tour that facility. Um, in fact, that's how I earned the satchel I have literally in the... Uh, I can't even make this up. I gotta pull this out. 